Solids, liquids and gases expand by different amounts when you heat them. So why is this? Let's use this table to explain. First of all, solids only expand by a small amount. And the reason is that the particles in a solid are held by very strong solid bonds. And so as you put thermal energy in and the kinetic energy of the particles increases, they move faster, those strong solid bonds don't let the particles move that far apart. They're vibrating much faster, but the bonds are so strong that they keep them close together. So we can say that particles, and those might be atoms or molecules, vibrate faster about their fixed points but small expansion due to strong solid bonds between particles between particles okay in a liquid the expansion is a little bit more it's just moderate expansion and the reason is that the bonds in a liquid are weaker than in a solid so as you add thermal energy and the particles can move around faster they can move further apart from each other because the bonds don't hold them that tightly together. So we can say that particles move around, move around each other faster, but that the bonds are weaker are weaker than in solids so the particles can move further apart okay so solids and liquids occupy a set volume. They will just take up their own volume, whereas a gas, if you let it, will take up whatever volume you give it. But let's say that we've got a gas in a container. Maybe it's a balloon. If we heat up the gas in that balloon, then what happens? Well, the added thermal energy means that the, the particles can fly around faster and in doing that they collide with the the balloon walls or the container walls with more force and more frequency more often and that means that they generate a higher pressure and that higher pressure can make the container expand as it's pushed outwards and that's quite a, a, a high or a large expansion so for gases, when you heat them, they expand by a lot more than liquids or solids. So let's try and explain this. So we can say that uh, gas particles move faster, move faster, and collide. with more force and frequency, keywords. So they collide more often with the walls uh, on the container walls, on the container walls. Okay, uh, this 
increases. Pressure. And when you get an increased pressure, then the container may expand if it hasn't got strong enough walls. Uh, we can also say that bonds between particles are very weak. Very weak, um, as they are so far apart. So far apart. A lot of information there. That is about it. So, so that means that the gas particles don't have very strong bonds. In fact, they have very weak bonds between them. And so those weak bonds can't stop them from moving further apart. So that's why solids, liquids and gases expand by different amounts. It's all to do with the particles. And when you have to explain that, do so with reference to the particles and how they're moving and about their bonds strength.